This is what happens when you have a Jew all pent up in the kitchen all day, talking all this bullshit, calling me racist and stupid and ignorant and ugly on the inside because I support the president of the fucking United States. You know what? I didn't necessarily support Barack Obama, but I didn't fucking root for him to do bad neither. That's fucking bullshit. Un-American cunt. Fuck you. You know who I'm talking to. Yes, I'm talking to fucking you. I'm not gonna call your name out, put you all over the internet, but fuck you. Ha. <sighs> I'm fucking, I'm feeling froggy. Yo, 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 we're back in the conspiracy kitchen with your boy Judini. Anyway, today I got something real special. Uh, I got it from a papa. Mr. Shainer likes to make us Cuban bread pizza from time to time. So I'm gonna make his recipe, but I'm gonna do it with my own homemade tomato sauce, which I'm not gonna show you how to make today. That's another episode of Judini. But I'm gonna show you how we do it. We're gonna start with a loaf of fresh Cuban bread. This was delivered today by my man, Kevin the Bread Man. Come from Casino Bakery. That's the only one we carry. Woo! We're also gonna use Papa Shaner's homemade country sausage. Now you can use hot Italian sausage or mild Italian, but I think the country sausage by far has the best flavor. Fresh made in house. Maybe one episode of Judy Dini, I'll show you how we do that. We've got a 75%, 25% meat to fat ratio. We've got our special blend of uh, country spices. This is typically it's used as a breakfast sausage, but it's really good on pizza. And we're just gonna grill that up. Woo, baby. So we're gonna let that get nice and browned up. Follow me up to the deli. I'll show you what else we're gonna put on it today. Yo, so you know what I've been researching a lot lately? <clears throat> I've been looking into uh, the assassination of John F. Kennedy and the death of his son, John F. Kennedy Jr. Some people say it was a little uh, nefarious. So before I get into John F. Kennedy's assassination, we're gonna preface it. We're using Boar's Head mozzarella cheese. Maybe I should tell you all that first. By saying that he was a pilot in World War II. There's a famous picture of JFK the Secretary of the Navy, James Forrestal, post-war Berlin, Germany. They're going through and they're surveying all the destruction. Anyway, so John F. Kennedy was elected president in 1960. Before he was president, while he was still fighting in World War II, we had what was known as the OSS, which was called the Office of Strategic Services. This uh, preceded the CIA, the most corrupt organization on planet Earth. So the OSS basically was there for joint military operations of all branches of the military. They're involved in propaganda and espionage and post-war planning. So after World War II ended, they kind of disbanded the OSS. We had Operation Paperclip in which our United States government brought in a thousand Nazis from Werner von Braun, the guy who founded NASA, all kinds of other motherfuckers. A couple of the guys were integrated into the OSS, which was transformed into the CIA. The CIA, ah, they were behind Kennedy's murder. So see, John F. Kennedy knew that they were using mind control tactics that were adopted by the Nazi Germans, in particular Project Monarch, Operation Monarch, MK Ultra, and JFK in one of his last speeches to the nation said, before I leave this high and noble office, it is my intention to shatter the CIA into a thousand pieces scatter it into the wind. I believe that they were the ones that had him killed. The Bay of Pigs, they wanted to go into war in Southeast Asia. JFK didn't want any of that. JFK wanted peace. JFK was all about civil rights. I believe the United States lost its innocence when JFK Jr. died. It shocked the nation, more so than 9-11, more so than all this crazy shit going on right now. So anyway, this is what I think happened with the JFK assassination. They had three opportunities to assassinate him. He ended up dying on November 22nd, but on November 20th of 1963, he did a parade in Chicago, Illinois. It was foiled. On November 21st of 1963, he had a parade right here in Tampa, Florida. Didn't happen. November 22nd, 1963, driving through Dealey Plaza. The story goes, Lee Harvey Oswald blasted him. You see the famous picture, the famous video of him clutching his neck and then back into the left, right? Blew his fucking cap right off. They said the Russians had motivation to kill him. The Cubans had reason to kill him. Lee Harvey Oswald was acting as a lone gunman. I think the CIA orchestrated all that shit. They wanted him dead. They knew LBJ would take us into war. Then they popped his fucking brother a couple years later who was running for president. And then 1999, John F. Kennedy Jr. He's flying a plane, coming into Martha's Vineyard. You know the story, plane crash, blah, 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 blah. A lot of crazy shit behind it. The, the way the investigation was hurried and covered up. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but John F. Kennedy Jr. was running against Hillary Clinton for a Senate seat in the state of New York, 2000. There's that bitch again, Carol Baskin. I mean, Hillary Clinton. Always gotta be killing somebody. So, I don't know. If you follow this QAnon theory, they say that JFK Jr. might be alive still. I don't know about that. I don't really believe it, but we've got a, about three quarters of a pound of boar's head sliced pepperoni. We've got a pound of boar's head mozzarella cheese. 
I don't know if you guys have ever had buffalo style pizza, but they do have their own style, cupped and charred. Typically the pizza, the pepperonis are a little smaller than this, but we're gonna char it up real nice. We flip our sausage, which is cooking up real nice. Oh yeah, that looks good. Let's throw our pepperonis on there. Cupped and charred, cupped and charred. Boots and pants and boots and pants. Man, it is hotter than a bitch back here. I'm gonna just have to deal with it. I'm gonna sweat all over your food. Hold on, I have to comply. I gotta comply, right? I had some bitch ass motherfucker tell me that they were gonna call the fucking county health and the fucking CDC because of my fucking hair. I said, bitch, the health inspector comes in and says my hair is just fucking fine. Eat a dick. In fact, eat a whole bag of dicks. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? What a lovely, lovely voice. Next step, we're going to slice up my Cuban bread. That Cuban bread looks real good. This shit really is the best bread there is. I wish we served all our sandwiches on it. Your boy's not Italian, your boy's not Cuban, but I make the best goddamn Cuban pizza there is. There we go. Next step, we got that Giudini homemade tomato sauce. Like I said, this might be another episode, but I'm not gonna tell you how I made it today. I use tomatoes. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be pretty generous with it. Spread it real nice. Spread it real, real nice. That's the lucky pie. Can I still call it a pie? Paisan, motherfucker. So, we've got that going. We're just gonna go ahead and use the rest of this. No use in saving a little bit. The generous Jew. Fuck that shit. Let's come over here and check on our pepperonis. Oh yeah, charred up real nice. Now, they're about done. Those guys need to char up a little better. It's really fucking greasy, so I'm gonna pull it off. I'm gonna pat it with a towel, and then we're gonna apply it to the pizza. Because otherwise, it's gonna be a greasy fucking mess, and that shit's gross. So, have you guys fucking watched the Out of the Shadows documentary yet? I know I've talked about it before. Uh, I don't even know what the views are up to on fucking YouTube, but they gotta be approaching 20 million. And with Ghislaine Maxwell getting arrested recently and hopefully all kinds of dirty secrets coming out soon, if you haven't watched it, go watch it fucking now. It'll make you wanna grab a gun and protect your fucking children, which you should do already. Own guns, protect your kids. And adopt a pit bull. So I just adopted this dog. She's seven months old. She's one of the sweetest girls I've ever met, other than Hope, of course. They were gonna kill my dog. I don't fucking understand people. Humans suck. Y'all thought it was just Americans. I think it's everybody. America is a beautiful country. The people living in it, some of us suck. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm gonna dice this uh, sausage up real nice. See how nice and browned it got up? Throw that in there as well. Look at that, that's a fucking heart attack in a bucket, bro. Y'all wanna die? <laughs> Let's just eat some of my cooking. Shake, rattle, and roll. All right, so while that continues to strain, I'm gonna come over here. I like to put the pepperonis under the cheese. Hot fire. Let me space this out a little bit more. That's gonna be a lot of pepperoni. And sausage next. All right, so we've got the homemade sauce on here. We've got our sausage that was made by Papa Shaner. Next, we're gonna add the mozzarella cheese on top. Now, you can also add, you can add anything you want to pizza. Pineapple for all you fruitcake motherfuckers. You can put some ham on there. As a disclaimer, I kind of like pineapple on pizza. My homie up in Chicago, he put me onto the jardinera on pizza. I don't know if you guys know what jardinera is. It's a mixture of like pickled cauliflower and peppers and all kinds of good shit. It is fire. It's a little spicy, but we're gonna leave it off. Today, we're going sausage, pepperoni, classic. Boom. You want that to fold off the side because when it bakes, it's gonna come around the edge and it's gonna crunch up real nice. Now, you could also use shredded mozzarella if you like. I don't use shredded mozzarella when I make this. I use this nice slice, which I'm sure one of you cunts on there is gonna comment, that's just lazy. I had this bitch fucking comment on my Cuban video. This bitch said, that's not a Cuban. That's just a lazy deli sandwich. Fuck you, you fucking cunt. That shit was glorious. I make the best Cuban north of Havana, motherfucker. You're gonna tell me that. Looks like I'm short on mozzarella. Well, guys, looks like we're gonna have to go back up to the deli and get like three or four slices. Shit! Shit, Judini, you done fucked it all up. You done fucked up the whole episode. You didn't cut enough product. Shut up, bitch. Shout out to the Second Amendment. You know why the Second Amendment's in place? Just in case the first one doesn't work. Mozzarella's fucking fire. Hold on, let me put my mask on. You gotta watch out, the Gestapo are out there. You better put your mask on quick before the Germans get here. All right, so cheese, pepperoni sausage, boom. We're gonna put it on 350 for about 30 minutes, and then we're gonna crank it up to about 450. We get a nice brown on it the last five, 10 minutes. Bye-bye, Baracho. Abracadabra, motherfucker. Make that pizza disappear. Our uh, Cuban bread pizza is about finished. And we are about to take a look. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, daddy, yeah. Look at that, look at that. That is perfect. See, I like my cheese a little more crispy. Nice little, ooh, my goodness. So remember we did Shaner's homemade country sausage, did my homemade tomato sauce, uh, some boar's head sliced pepperoni, we grilled it up, charred it up real nice, some boar's head slicing mozzarella, bam, 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 and then we did one with just cheese. Like I said, you can add any kind of topping, you can do peppers and onions and jardinere, pineapple, ham, bacon, ricotta, you can make a white pie out of it, but I like the sauce. Anyway, let's slice this bad dog up and take a taste. My goodness, that one right there looks like mine. Let me come over to your house and cook it for you. Tell your wife to bring an extra set of panties. It's hot. Too hot. Too hot for the hot tub. Goddamn, about to burn my mouth. We're gonna have to cut a little smaller sliver for me. Tell your wife to bring me an extra set of panties too. Mmm. Good crunch. Great flavor. I bet that would be good cold for breakfast tomorrow. I'm gonna eat some for breakfast tomorrow. I'll let you know about it. See y'all on Instagram or Facebook, all right? Check my shit out. So anyways, 35 inch Cuban loaf, all of our ingredients. We baked at 350 for about 20, 25 minutes. Crank the heat up to 425 to get that nice brown on it. If you don't like your cheese that well done, obviously you don't have to do it. Me personally, that's what I like. That's what I do. So holler at me. Come back to the Conspiracy Kitchen next time with your boy Giudini. We're gonna be whipping it counterclockwise. Stay strapped or get clapped. I prefer not to be clapped. Everybody, go out there. Buy a gun, get trained with that gun, get a concealed weapons permit. Remember, as a law-abiding citizen, it is your right to carry a weapon. Record sales in guns in the United States. Four million background checks on guns in the month of June in the state of Florida alone. People are ready, people are prepared. I don't know what for, maybe a big igloo, something like that, boogaloo. I don't know what they call it, but holler at your boy. Like, subscribe, buy some merchandise, because Judini needs to get paid. What can I say? I'm just a Jew. Woo!